my channel. My name is Idenise, and this is Idenise Official Beauty. So go ahead, check out the other videos, and subscribe to the channel if you like the videos. Join the family, alright? So today is a vlog, alright? It's a vlog video, um... Yeah, so if you hear any noise, that's my little laptop. I'm on YouTube as usual, okay? And my makeup, like a makeup okay. tutorial. I'm just going to be make, doing my makeup, and you're going to see some clips. And then I'm supposed to go to the dollar store. Well, two sets of dollar store and the hair store. Yeah. And I was supposed to do this from early this morning. And I didn't. You know what I mean? You know when you have something to do, and you say you will do it early in the morning, and that didn't happen? So, anyways, um, let me show you guys today. It's actually July 29th. Do you see that? Yeah. So, it's quite a rainy day today. And I celebrated my birthday on the 27th, actually, which was a rainy day, too. So, you know, it's a, it's a rainy summer. But anyway, let me get started with my makeup. Do excuse the lighting in here. Um, of course, it's raining, you know, it kind of switch everything. So, yeah. And I'm also going to be doing my hair. So, let me show you guys. So, last night, I plied my hair so I can do crochet with it. So, this is what I did. Right? I did that last night. So, um, Lord of mercy, please save my edges. I'm putting my edges in the fly floor. But please, Lord, I'm begging. I'm begging. But anyways, um, so later on, I'm going to be doing crochet in my hair. So, I'm not going to do an actual video. I am going to include that in the vlog. Because there's so many, um, there is so many videos on how to do crochet so i don't think i need to do another one guys okay because it's pretty much the same thing um yeah but anyways let's get started with the video all right guys so i'm pretty much watching this youtuber i believe her name is Leginda. she's actually from the uk actually i like to watch a lot of um youtubers because i you know i like to do youtube you know so of course that's where my mindset is at and i like to watch a lot of things that is like knowledgeable so she's pretty much talking about um handling your financial issues and stuff like that so that is something that i'm into of course i know because i haven't been too good on The lighting here is really bad guys like seriously it's giving me some weird thing but next week i'm planning to get a camera and i think i'm gonna get it off of amazon um yeah because sometimes it's one thing you gotta you gotta switch it up you know and yeah i'm also planning to get a new ring light because the ring light that i have here is really small so it doesn't really work with most majority of the angles that i want you know what i mean so i'm planning to do that and yeah but today the reason why i'm going to the dollar store is because i'm going to get some stuff for like this birthday picnic that i'm having on saturday guys so yeah All right, guys, it is so much better since I put on the lighting. Um, yeah, look at this. This is flawless, okay? This is, this is, listen. This, mm, boo, boo. Okay. Um, I need to get back into my tutorials actually because I have not been doing a lot of makeup lately and I need to get back on doing that. Um, yeah, I need to get back on my tutorials. You know? And it's not that I've been like, I've not been motivated to do it because as you can see, I've been wearing makeup. It's just sometimes when you start a new channel, and by the way, this this is not my only channel. Well, now it is. Um, because <laughs> the other one got deleted. And I do have a mukbang channel. I think I'm going to delete that one too. But this will be my permanent channel here. And I've learned a lot on YouTube. You know what I mean? So, so I've been just being myself, trying different things. I know sometimes they say when you first start a channel, that's not the way to go. You have to find your niche, etc. But I think sometimes you have to do it the other way around and just do do you, do who you are, and from then you you know from there you will you will you know catch on on what you're supposed to do. But for now on, I'm just doing typical me. <laughs> 
basically that's it but anyways um yeah so like i said i am going to the dollar store to get some birthday stuff it's not that much because i'm not one of those person i like to have like extravagant parties or whatever because that's not my cup of tea you know that's just not me so i'm just gonna be doing something um simple like a picnic and it's with like two three friends you know and her children and that's it and i'm satisfied with that and i'm thankful for that so that is um, it yeah, that, that, is, that is it. I'm going to be satisfied with that. And yeah, so I'm going to take you guys with me to the store to just get these stuff. And I'm going to show you guys what it is that I got. Because everything that I do now, I do on a budget. Like, I don't... I'm learning a lot. And that's something I'll, I'll talk about, you know. As you see me upload videos, you'll see me talk a lot about budgeting and stuff like that so um it's you know i usually like i said i usually don't celebrate like a huge celebrator i just do, i just do like simple things and dinners and stuff like that but even the dinner thing i was not up for it this year no because why not do the simple things in life you know just go in a park or whatever i mean however that's you you choose to celebrate your birthday how you want to that's great I have no problem with that that's wonderful but for me I don't know if it's with getting older and wiser it's like I really don't care about all that stupid stuff no more you know what I mean um dinner is, is pretty simple but no I just want I just want nature and park or whatever however I do feel like I have to have like a plan B just in case it rain or whatever then I'll have it at the house don't matter it don't matter but I think my my best birthday so far was when I spent it with my family um, in Florida in 2019 you know and I, I won't say it's, it's my best birthday but it was the most um, important one to me you know what I mean because I hadn't seen my mom for 10 years which is something I'll talk about I had all of those on my other channel <laughs> um, yeah, so that was so special to me. But all of my birthdays is very important to me because you spend it with people you love, you know, whether it's friends, acquaintances, it's like family. So, yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to be putting the powder now. Um, I have to say, guys, this lighting is just listen. I want to start going back on live and doing my makeup. I used to do that on Instagram a few times. And when I had my other Facebook page, I did that a few times. Um, I think I did it one or two times on my um, the page that I started for this channel or the other channel. But I think I'm going to start doing that again. And just, you know, have like little chit chats and stuff. Because there's a lot of things I like to talk that's in my mind. You know, um, I want to raise awareness of, you know. So I want to do like some type of talk live. You know. But when God give me clarity, that will happen, you know. I no longer do things from confusion. Because that's just going to land me in trouble. But anyways, I'm not sure if I'm going to put any eyeshadow on here. I think I like um, keeping the, the clean eyeshadow look. Not sure. Or maybe I'll just put a neutral color. Who knows? Who knows? I think I'm going to use this palette here. This palette has a lot of clear um, colors in here. So just to make it a little bit neutral, I think I'm going to use it like this peach, peachish beige color. And simply that's it. Just kind of put it on my eyelid. It's not going to show on camera because it's a very neutral color. So, yeah. But anyways, 
um i'm actually watching this youtuber um called i um aisha haran so yeah i'm pretty diverse when i'm watching youtube i like to watch youtube from like vloggers you know beauty influencers i like to watch them from all over the uk canada the states south africa africa um different places nigeria you know what i mean so yeah so that's pretty much what i'm just gonna do that's it guys i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kill myself with it i'm gonna keep it pretty neutral because it's a rainy day and i don't want to do too much to my eyelid you know what i mean what else should I talk about? I mean, there's so much I should talk about. I feel like when I put my camera, my mind go blank. But um, I'm going to be using my foundation powder. My foundation brush, I should say, just to remove those cash lines. You know? See that? Just kind of brush it forward and damp it in. You know, just to remove that harshness. And then I'm going to go back into the contour brush. And just to add more of that contour look, you know, because I don't want to completely wipe it away, you know, just to give the face some definition. because when I come back I'm gonna just do my hair so I just put on a hair cloth guys okay and yeah so this is actually a scarf actually and I turn it into a hair cloth but if you guys would like me to do a video on different types of um, styles with hair cloth and scarf let me know okay I know I have a few subscribers subscribing to the channel just let me know I can do that um, I definitely, definitely love to rock my, um, my scarf slash hair cloth, but this is the look here. The eyelashes, I felt like I should have bring it a little bit more down. As you can see, you can see the little space in between the eye, but that's okay. I can manage. I'm not about to take it off and redo it again, but that's it. I'm going to give myself about 15 minutes, charge my phone because I was recording on it. Um, it's on 60 something, but I'm going to let it get up to 80 something. And then after that, I'm going to head out. So I was thinking, cause I have somebody who can come pick me up. Right. But then I don't want to pay too much money for him. I'm, I'm trying to save money here. So I'm thinking of just catching a taxi or an Uber to two of the places first and then call him that way i don't have to pay that much money you feel me um i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call the taxi no the uber go there you know close by then call them to pick me up and then take me there and then come back and that's it and get the hair get the hair started okay so pretty much um all right wow it took a while let me bring so this is pretty much what i am wearing here and i have this little first thing here it's a guest purse was given to me by a friend. I have my keys here because it can't fit in the bag. Um, I usually bring my little brown um, backpack, but I don't feel like bringing it today. So it's just black on black, guys. You know, black on black. It's raining. You know, don't need to get all white today. I'm just like that with my staff, and I'm good to go. Okay, I'm good to go. But pretty much that's it. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna wear my one of my tennis actually. It's just too wet to be wearing sandals outside. So yeah, see you in the next week, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear um the tennis. Like 
about five minutes ago and i'm just gonna show you guys what i got because because i didn't do that much um vlogging first of all yeah i didn't do that much vlogging so i went to the hair store got a few little things probably five six little things then i went to the other dollar store um they won't let me vlog in there so um i ended up calling my ride to come and pick me up and take me to the other dollar store so everything was kind of like a rush 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 so i did like probably three clips in there but it's kind of like a rush and trying to be focused at the same time um i know for sure i probably could have vlogged better at dollarama next time it's just that some people are not used to vlogging and when you walk into their store they probably think you have to do something else i don't know but you know but anyways i'm just gonna do like a little but i feel like i feel like i wanted something simple for my birthday and i don't know because i'm doing it on my own it's it's like something so simple seems a lot so imagine when somebody's doing like a big birthday thing you know what i mean i just can't i'm exhausted already okay i'm overwhelmed already excuse me and i didn't even get the food i got the cake okay which is like velvet cake um it's a small cake and then i got some balloons it's like purple balloons which is my favorite color so i'm gonna go back on saturday and go get those balloons okay <laughs> that's crazy so i'm gonna go back on saturday get those balloons and then um because they have to pump those balloons up or whatever. So I'm going to go back on Saturday, get those balloons, get the, 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 the chicken, you know, the food. And then the pizza. I'm going to get that. So that's three things. And I'll probably go to North Rolls and just get some little cupcakes or something for, you know, the two, three children that's going to be there. And basically that's it. But it seems like a lot. But let's get into it because I don't want this to be a long video. So, now, most of the things that I got, I can use them. I don't have to throw them away. I can come back and reuse them in my house. I wouldn't buy anything. I'm just going to waste like that. So, it makes sense. Like, I'm comfortable buying it, you know, just for one event thing. No. So, um, I promised myself to stay away from artificial flowers because I'm going to be getting, like, new flowers like real flowers but this again this is for the birthday thing so the idea that i have is to set up a mat or whatever something on the floor and add some decorations to it so i brought this one here this is like a little flower plant you know it's like really nice and purple put it in the middle with the food etc be so nice on the floor and then i brought these little um i brought these little flower here these are like little vine flowers what do you call these there's a name for these type of flowers but they're like little vine flowers you know you can add them either on the around the the, the mat or whatever and you know have a little decoration going on so i bought like four of those okay for those then i mean it seems like a lot to me like i said it's probably because i'm doing it by myself and it seems overwhelming um i'm not a person i like to shop 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 like that but i brought these mats also i figured i could just use it um once i'm done with it at the park and put it right on my table honey but in the nice little they look blue but i like to in my head to say that they look almost purple but i love the unique color and the different sets of purple is going to really pop out so i brought two of these here so i can add like in the middle somewhere you know just decorate that so i'll be sure to record a video take that now I couldn't really find the sheet uh the mat that I wanted, so I just went with whatever. So I brought this one here. It's kind of like a little greenish, I don't know, like um I don't know what you call this color, but it sure is not purple. <laughs> so the other ones was like about this color here, this red one, and I didn't want no red one. Um I'm gonna have another mat also, it's like a flower mat. I'm gonna I mean tablecloth I'm gonna have that there also and yeah so this is what I brought okay so I brought one napkin because it's not gonna be that much people 
um, just a few close friends. That's it. About two, 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 three close friends and their children. That's it. I bought one cup. This is all on the budget, honey. And I'm proud of myself. This is like $3 plate. This is enough for everybody. This is 15. They can even get, you know, reuse for to get their cake or whatever. So that's what I did. And then I thought these little, these like flower petals, you know, I can just sprinkle on the mat, you know, and just add some festive look to it. And then I also brought some, like, I couldn't find purple balloons, but I thought these were unique and they would pop out. And these are like um, silver, silver, but I also brought some colorful balloons, you know, um, I can, you know, take some purple out of there or whatever, but. Just for the sake of it, I still brought them anyway. Sometimes the kids like to take the balloons and pop them and play, play around with it. So that should be fine. And then I also went and brought me um, some spoons and forked or whatever and knife. So the other dollar store, I brought this candle thing here. It's like black and white. And I think it kind of went, it kind of goes with the cake too because the cake is velvet and it's like red, red and white. Although I wanted purple, but she didn't have purple. But, you know, it goes well with the little black candles and stuff like that. So I brought that one there. Then I went ahead and brought this, which is $20, guys. Um, I couldn't find the Pacific tablecloth that I wanted so I thought this would be unique if I get it it kind of act like you know you put it on top of it it kind of give it like a flare you know the red purple plop I mean popping like an indigoish feel so yeah so I'm gonna add the tablecloth at the um at the bottom and then probably put this on top of it or whatever you know I don't know but this is reusable for sure this is definitely going on my table once I'm done um with that and oh I brought a, a purple tablecloth and you know this is for the children you know where they want to eat I don't know I don't know why I bought it I just brought a table a purple tablecloth I don't know and then I also bought a string for the flowers I mean not the, not the flowers the balloons so I brought a string for them and that's about it guys that is about it all right guys so these are the stuff that i got from the hair store um i had to put my money in here because i was getting so busy so i just threw my money in the bag so i brought another hair just to make sure i feel like this hair is a little bit shorter than the one that i got so I don't know. I'm I'm trying to add it like a, as a little highlight and stuff like that. I don't know, or one side of my hair, but it depends on the length. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, I brought one pack of the. This is the box braid. This is not even the Singleese. Why didn't I look? But anyways, we're gonna do something with this. Um, I brought these here. This is the silver one. This is the fashion jewelry for the braids. I always love to put these in braids. Um, this is another one. This is more like the gold one here. Um, I also brought me a hot curler, guys. I'm surprised that I brought this because I've been wanting to get one for a long time. And this is 11 something, so it's not that bad. Um, finally, I got one. Okay, so I got uh, um, electric curling iron. So then I brought an edge control, 48 hour edge control. Um, I also brought these earrings I thought would go really well with the outfit and the braids um, that I'm wearing on Saturday. And the other rest is just flyers and stuff so that's pretty much it guys so i'll see you guys in the next clip when i'm about to do my hair all right, all right guys so i have started the back of my hair so let me turn it around 
so you guys can see how I did that. Um, hopefully you guys saw that properly. But anyways, um, so what I was trying to do is I was trying to spread them apart. Number one, they're very thick, so I don't want a whole bunch of hair on top of my head. So altogether, I had about six pack of hair. One, two, three, four, five. I believe I had six pack in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six pack of hair. I already used up two hair. All right, so I'm going to start the side. And most likely, I'm going to use that brown on top. So that way I can have enough um, here. Uh, so let's see if this work out. And I know I can make this work out, guys. So for, like I say, I didn't want to make this into like a video video. Just like a vlog style video. Um, the only thing is like, this does mess with my earrings a bit. Like seriously. But, um... If you look closely, there's two sets of hair. It's like it's the same single ease hair, but the smaller one that I use is the jumbo um, single ease twist, which is the 2X, and that would be this one here, right? This is more like a tight curl, and I wish I hadn't gotten more of this one because then this one here, which I thought would have been nice for me, excuse me if you hear my belly growling because I'm so hungry. Um, this one here which is the cuban twist natural jumbo 2x this is a little bit more loose you know um and it tends to just mess with my earrings i don't know but it's not as tight right and then um for this one here which i used to plait my own hair i use the jumbo braided um flame this is the ultra, ultra jumbo braided here. So pretty much, guys, that's what I'm going to do. Finish it off. Um, this type of hairstyle should not take too long, actually. It shouldn't take too long, honestly. So pretty much, I'm just going to start off here about this area and then finish it off. We'll see how that goes, guys. But I'm not going to show everything. Thing on camera just because um to do to do this type of hair um you really have to be focused okay so some of it i'm going to be like talking some of it i'm not you know you see that so that's why i don't do a a, a regular hair video because um there's so many on youtube so if you want to know how to do um, crochet please do look it up on YouTube okay there's lots of videos you can look up um, on YouTube so yeah This is how far I've come. I might have to go to the store to get another pack of hair. And if I do, most likely, I'll probably get another one of those, um, the brown hair that I got. And then another black one and probably the tight one where I could put it on top. Because I'm going to do this side one color. Um, because this right here is still missing and I only have a few left here. Um, but the hair doesn't feel heavy at all, you know, I don't know if you guys can like see the length, it's, you know, <sighs> so that's where I'm at for now, 
um i wish i really had stick to these ones here because they make it a little bit more slimmer this one makes it a little bit more chunky but um that's okay that's okay but i'm just gonna finish this up here and then start this and then head back to the store um i can't stand when that happens you know what i mean but it is what it is you learn next time you know what to do and what not to do but um crochet honestly does not take time it just takes a lot of focus um concentration and all that stuff you know um yeah so if you if you want to know a little bit of history about me when it comes to hair, I'm gonna tell you now. I'm somebody I can do my own hair. I'm thankful for that. I don't have to go to like the hair salon and do my hair. Not to say that I would never go to a hair salon to you know treat myself one day and get my hair done, but I've never had to like worry about that part. Like I'm just used to doing my own hair. Um. So, yeah, been doing hair as a child, etc., blah, 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 blah. But unfortunately, I don't like to do people's hair. I don't like it. Um, number one, my personal experience. And I think when I was in Florida, I was fine. Florida, I was fine doing people's hair. But here, I'm not, no. And I think I've just lose my touch with hair. I know for me personally, I cannot do hair for a living like honestly i can't that's just that's just not me you know um i tried it no it's just like a hobby to me it's like something i know i can do but it's not something i have a passion for um i have done others hairs i've done my friends here you know others but for right now i'm just kind of pausing on hair even my friends here i think i'm just gonna stop doing for now because that's just not my thing just not my thing but my hair i can do my hair and then demonstrate it for you guys and show you what i do with it you know certain styles etc but um nah no 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 anyways let's continue with the hair likely I'll have to go back to the store but it's looking good looking good So I went back to the store and got some hair. So we're going to finish this off. Actually, I actually love the way it comes out. The only thing I wish I had got more of the tighter um, single ease twist because hair is very puffed out. But you know what? I can manage. Um... I know what to do next time.
you know i really wanted it to be flat so this is still a little puffed out but it's not that bad like i said i can manage so let's finish this off and then i'll get back to you guys this is the hair i have to be honest it's not exactly the way that i wanted it but it came out okay okay so i wish if i could turn it back and redo it again i had get like just this top piece here this color and it would look a little bit more flatter but because i mixed the um the black there's two sets of singleese hair um, one is more puffy than the other it kind of make this side look really puffy but that's okay you know i could deal with that i could deal with that i'll know what to do next time um but other than that it's okay um it's not that heavy at all to be honest with you it's just a bunch of hair it just feel very light or whatever but it's not that heavy so um, so basically that's it. So this took me about maybe two and a half hours because I had to stop, go back to the store again and get hair. So honestly, it was not that long to, um, to do. It didn't take that long. It's just that, you know, sometimes it take breaks in between or whatever, but, um, it's what, probably what, five something, going on six something right now. Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, I can't complain. I'm done. I'm excited. I am hungry. So, so yeah. So I use this to kind of flatten it down. Um, just kind of like flat it like this, not flat it, like tied up like this. And then, you know, I do have this long thing here, which I just kind of, what I do is, it's kind of difficult to put the hair in place. All right, guys, Lord. so I kind of tie it down for now. I mean, this is how it's going to be until I go to bed tonight and just kind of retake it out and retie it again. I just kind of scribble it down. It is a lot to tie down. I wish I had one of those big bonnets, you know, those big loose bonnets. That would have been really nice. Um, this one here, I got it from the beauty supply store like psh, a year ago or so. Maybe more than a year ago. Um, this is more for like locks and stuff like that. But it's okay. So I'm, I'm going to fix it up later on tonight. So this is it, guys. I'm going to leave you guys here with the vlog. Let me know, guys know what you think. And yeah so i will see you guys in another one please do not forget to subscribe to the channel um yeah so it's beauty vlog mug buying lifestyle etc so peace out